Hello there, you amazing viewers and subscribers, and welcome to a brand new episode in my series of ranking every single season and series of Doctor Who from 1963 down to 2023. So, for this episode, we are going to be talking what is in my 15th place. Yes, since last January, I've gone from 39th place all the way down to 15th place, and... I absolutely do enjoy this season because that's in 15th place. These are, the, these, as I said, when I got to my 20, these are the top 20 ones. And for 15th place, I'm going to be honest here, it is, of course, Series 13. So the poster I've made should come up. I don't know about the rest of people, but I absolutely really enjoy Series 13. Not just Flux as a whole. I actually enjoy the specials as well because I absolutely love the fact we had the return of the Sea Devils. Yes, I know it's not a pretty good episode, but I enjoy it for the fact it is the return of the Sea Devils. And the power of the Doctor is just absolutely phenomenal. So before I get into this review, um, this not review type thing, this episode, I'm going to show you what I own of Series 13. So I'm going for the DVDs first and then, of course, the Blu-rays, as you know the drill. So next place it is, of course, well, first place, sorry, it is, of course, Doctor Who Flux. The DVD box set with all six episodes of the Flux, which is basically the Halloween Apocalypse, um, the War of the Santarans, Once Upon Time, you know, Village of the Angels. Then, of course, I can't remember the last uh, Fakushas. I can't remember the fifth episode. I really can't remember the fifth episode. That's the one thing that bugs me. So yeah, so here is all season thirteen, aka Doctor Who Flux, as well. As we have on DVD, either the either the Daleks and Legend of the Sea Devils, as well as the Power of the Doctor. So that is the DVD side of Doc of Series Thirteen. Where for the Blu-ray side, I actually own the Steelbook version of Series Thirteen, as well as the Steelbook of the Specials. Yes, I absolutely love all that. I love how it all lines up specifically on the Steelbook really well where you got like flux and then you kind of got like something left over from the flux from for the series 13 specials this is my all-time favorite 13th doctor series it is my favorite jodie whittaker series yes in this list i've already gone and said you know series 11 i've said series 12 already and it's took me a while to get to series 13 because i absolutely think this is the best series of the whittaker era and i absolutely really enjoy it so i'm going to talk about the flux as a whole and I'm going to talk about the specials separately. So, the main thing about the Flux is it brings back so many iconic monsters. Not just, like, the Daleks and Cybermen, you know. We have the return of the Santarans. Specifically, like, the return of their old ways they were in Classic Who. As well as the return of the Weeping Angels. Yes, the Weeping Angels have not been really seen in Doctor Who since Series 7. A.K.A. the Angels Take Manhattan. So, for them to return... Fun on the court. Fun on the court. They were scary. They were brilliant. I really liked the way how the transport Claire. The way you kind of got that weeping angel inside Claire's mind. And the fact that they actually working for the whole division. Around about the, the whole timeless child thing with the division and stuff. I like how they had the weeping angels working for them. And they turned the 13th Doctor into a weeping angel. That is my favourite cliffhanger out of this series. I'm sorry to say that. But I really love the way how the 13th Doctor is just there. Looking around and she becomes a weeping angel and goes like that and the wings pop out. I really did enjoy that one. Plus we have Tech Taylor, basically the founder of the Doctor, um, the Timeless Child. Yeah, I know. We also have some epic scenes with Ruth Martin, aka the Fugitive Doctor in Once, a Once Upon Time. And of course, another further scene in The Power of the Doctor, which I'll get later on at some point. I absolutely really enjoy Flux. So, The Halloween Apocalypse, I'm going to say this, is my second favourite episode of the series, followed by, because my favourite episode is, of course, Village of the Angels, War, then, of course, The Halloween Apocalypse, War of the Santarans. I have to say part, um, the fifth one, I can't remember what the name of it for the life of me, because we actually have the like the voice of Nicholas Courtney playing for the background when they're actually walking through Unit HQ, which is brilliant that the fact they actually include that in, and the fact they actually bring back Kate Stewart, who is returning in Series 14, if you haven't seen the actual pictures from Series 14 
I would have done a video for that, but I don't know, really know what to say. Because so many people took this, took all the pictures of Series 14 as a topic. So I don't really want to be like a copycat. So I'm kind of leaving that out. But we have the return of Kate Stewart in Series 14, which is going to be phenomenal and brilliant. I love, I really did enjoy Flux. I, my favourite character has got to be Dan. Because I really enjoyed Dan in the Flux. The way he tells Carvanista off, who is a Lapari, the way he tells him off. Going, you can't go into my door. And the way he literally goes with the Santorans with a with a walk. And the doctor goes, What is that? It's a walk. Why have you got a walk? Do you bash him with? <laughs> I really enjoyed Dan's character. I love the way how Dan comes out dressed as a pirate in Legend of Sea Devils. He's there with the claw, with like with the hook. <laughs> yeah, it's just me like this. And the doctor goes, Yeah, did you dress Dan like this? Yeah, I thought it'd be funny. So did I. So did I, Yaz. I think it was hilarious the way he, that was done. This series, I have to admit, even though it's like, what, six episodes of Flux and then three specials, so around about eight episodes of this of this series, and this is the best Jodie Whittaker series. I absolutely love it. I love the fact we have the return of the Weeping Angels, the Santarans, and, of course, the Sea Devils in this episode. And when you get to Power of the Doctor, you've got the return of the Master, and the way the Master is insane you've got the Rasputin song and the masters is there dancing through Rasputin doing the song and then of course you've got the Daleks and the cyber masters basically looking at each other like so I absolutely love that scene so yeah 15th place has got to be series 13 plus the specials so I'm going to do class the series 13 specials as series 13 so yeah I'm actually going to do that I'm including them I have to admit, the f my favourite special, I have to admit, has got to be Power of the Doctor. My favourite episode out of Series 13 as a whole. Philogy Angels. I have to admit, the Philogy Angels is the best one for me. It was scary. It was spooky. Weeping Angels are phenomenal. And I absolutely love it. And the when you kind of have the Halloween Republics with everything building up. And then, of course, Episode five inter episode 3 sorry, introduces the Grand Servant. And then Episode 5, find we find out he's on Earth. Interfering with unit and everything, which is just brilliant in itself. Um, the the brother and sister swarm and SL weak characters, very very weak. And I really, I think I like the performance, but I think they are absolutely weak. Because after episode three, I really think they just kind of fade out a bit with everything going on in flux. My favorite specials has got to be the power of the Doctor in series thirteen, followed by. I would have said Eve of the Daleks, but I'm going to have to say Legend of Sea Devils because I just really enjoy having the return of the Sea Devils. Yes, I know it's a bad story written by Chris Chiddell, but I'm sorry. I honestly have to admit, I absolutely did enjoy Legend of Sea Devils because I've always wanted the return of the Sea Devils and we finally got it in 2022. So yeah, let me know in the comments, what do you think of Doctor Who Flock as a whole and of course the specials? Thank you for watching the video. Please do like, subscribe, share, and join for more awesome Doctor Who content. Have a cracking day, you amazing lot.